Good morning, everybody, and thanks for being with us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio on this gorgeous day here in the capital city in Austin. One in exactly one week, Texas lawmakers will convene at the Texas State Capitol for the start of yet another legislative session. Hard to believe, but we're in 2023 and that is about to begin. So one question that continually comes up when we talk about the any kind of legislative body is how the partisan divide can be bridged in some sort of way. So over on KXAN.com right now, you can check out this in-depth article with the headline, What are the opportunities that may bring Republicans and Democrats together? And the reporter who looked more into this is one of our KXAN news interns. Her name is Anastasia Baltzer, and she is joining us here for a live interview this morning. Anastasia, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning. And what's really amazing is that, and what's wonderful about doing kind of some remote work, is that you are joining us all the way from Switzerland. Talk about what you're doing over there. Yes. So I'm currently doing my graduate's degree in religion, politics, and economics hmm. at three different universities. And I'm kind of bringing all those three fields together. And uh, yes, almost almost finished. Wow. Really well, good. it's amazing that you are joining us and doing this internship at KXAN, and you, of course, have some connections to Texas, too, right? Yes, I've uh, lived in Georgetown for about, I would say, six, seven years, and I also graduated from Southwestern University in Georgetown, so Texas has become my home as well. Wow. Well, we're so happy to have you, even if it is remote, all the way from Switzerland, but I wanted to talk about the article that a lot of people can find over on our website right now. What was it that inspired you to look into this? Because the idea about how to bridge these two divides and reach some sort of consensus is one that comes up a lot, especially when we reach the session. Right. Uh, yes. So I think, like you said, the division between Republicans and Democrats has been such a huge topic in our lives, especially since the last two presidential debates. Uh, presidential elections and even the midterms, people are talking about it. And what stood out to me, um, especially during the gubernatorial debate, was we conducted a poll, um, KXAN conducted a poll and asked the viewers the questions, what would you like to ask the candidates? And the question that popped up a lot was, how can how can the governor bring the two parties together that we work together and um, don't have a further division? like right now. So I just wanted to explore this subject some more. Yeah, and when you looked further into this, how did you approach reporting this out for us? So I wanted to talk to different representatives from the state, from the Texas House, and I also wanted to bring an academic perspective. So I reached out to a few lawmakers, to a bunch of lawmakers from both sides, and I also reached out to professors from various universities, and I had the opportunity to talk to Professor Emily Snyder, Sidner from Southwestern University, and to James Tellerico, um, state representative, and the newly elected state representative, Maria Luisa Flores, and um, ask them a few questions about that subject. How can Democrats and Republicans come together and work together? Yeah, and in just a moment, we'll kind of dive into what those conversations revealed. But your story really kicks off with this idea about immigration reform being something that both sides say that something needs to be addressed with. So explain how you got into the story, particularly on that issue. So I think one, immigration reform is such an important issue for the country and Texas in particular, because mm. we have more cities. So it is a very current to topic, especially the El Paso, crisis, El Paso crisis. Lawmakers have to deal with the question, what we're going to do with the migrant crossing surging. And um, immigration is usually a topic that divides the two parties, and it's such a difficult topic to find common ground. And when you want to find solutions on how to find common ground, I think you have to look into difficult topics, such as immigration reform. That's why I started with that. And you looked at some other issues, too, and people can read more about that in Anastasia's uh, in-depth story. But 
what you talked to about the professor from Southwestern University, uh, Emily Sidner, she really spoke to how difficult it is to build consensus between the two parties. What did she say is why that is? Yes, so she mentioned that we have built an incentive structure in the primary system that makes it very difficult for candidates who are more in the middle to win the election because people who who vote in the primaries are usually voters who tend to be more with polarized views and choose candidates that are more on their ex extreme or side or more well known so people who are more in the middle in the middle of centrist candidates don't even have a chance usually to win so that makes it difficult to to have a system that um, pro favors compromise. And as we're looking to this next legislative session that begins a week from today, uh, almost hard to believe that it's back here, ag here again, uh, you spoke to a couple of state lawmakers about what issues might they see as a way for the Republicans and Democrats to connect on and come up with some solutions. What did they reveal in those conversations? So what I found, one of the things that I found interesting is that both can, both state representatives that I talked to, Mr. Tellerico and Mrs. Flores, mentioned that they see hope in public education. They think that the two parties can come together and find solutions for, for to reform public education, making a better space. Um, but they also mentioned that it's difficult for Democrats and Republicans to work together because of different beliefs and where they just can't find common ground on the ideas that they, that separates those um, parties. But like I said, they 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 are hopeful, and um, they're they were willing to to find compromise, work together, and try to learn from each other. And certainly, we'll see what will happen in this session as it begins, and what kinds of things there can be fine common ground on. Uh, another part of your story, and I wanted to ask you about this really quickly too in the national scope of things, there was a bill that came up about gun legislation and how that's created some blowback for a Republican who worked on that. Talk about what you revealed in your story in that regard. So yes, I was looking at the at Senator John Cornyn and he was a very interesting, he's a very interesting person and I also mm -hmm. mentioned him in regards to immigration reform. So on one, one side it is difficult he criticizes the Democratic Party, but when he was talking about the school safety bill, um, the bipartisan safety bill, he was talking about that it is important to find compromise, and they worked on it to find, and they compromised. But what he faced was um, criticism from his own party. He was booed at a convention. So that kind of shows how difficult it is for politicians to compromise because it comes with a price, which you can read in the article as well more about it on kxan.com. And um, yeah, so that's the difficult of co difficulty of compromise in this example. Yeah, we are definitely seeing that effect there. And as I mentioned a minute ago, with the session starting very soon, we will see what will come up, uh, the issues that will come up, the bills that will be addressed, the laws that will ultimately be passed. But hopefully there is some compromise because I feel like some of the polls have shown that voters want to see that, that consensus building. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, Anastasia Baltzer is our intern for us here at KXAN News. And Anastasia, before I let you go, Again, thank you for your article that you worked on because it is such a fascinating read and addresses a topic that I think a lot of people wonder about. But I'm wondering about you personally, uh, what are your plans next? I understand you're finishing up some of your graduate work now, but what's coming next? So during this internship, I, I just, um, I love to do research. I love hmm. politics and everything that comes with it. So I would love to stay in research, maybe try to find work in a think tank or even stay in the journalism world. We will see. Well, I have no doubt that the future is going to be bright. And uh, we are very grateful that you took time out of your busy schedule defending your work and finishing up school and doing this on top of it. It's a lot, but we really do appreciate it. So thank you again. Thank you. All right, everybody, that again is Anastasia Baltzer, one of our interns here who wrote up this story. Uh, what are the opportunities that may bring Republic Democrats and Republicans together? You can read it right now over on KXAN.com. Also access it on the KXAN News mobile app.
I'm Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live Studio. We appreciate you being with us here this morning. We will see you back here throughout the day with other updates. So please stay with us. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.